Hello guys, it's the 15th of June and I have here some out of date chip shop curry that I bought for a pound which was meant to expire on the 24th of May. It's also used by, which means if you eat it after this date you could die. It's currently the 15th of June. I haven't done the sniff test yet, but I intend to put this in the microwave and then heat it. Um, it says, chip chop curry with sweet potato, rice and peas. And it says, 10% of our profits support mental health charity Mind. We respect the planet in all we do, and we're committed to reducing food waste. So I have no idea what all that's about, but that's what it says on the back. It also has some cooking instructions which says um, put in the microwave and it says to stir halfway through okay so I probably won't bother with that um, but because it's too boring to watch but I may do it off camera so I will show you me putting it into the microwave take it out of the microwave but I may not bother showing you stirring it I'm not sure at the moment okay Right, because it's difficult to do that kind of thing on camera while you're holding the camera and trying to stir and make sure the thing doesn't spin round, okay? I've only got two two hands, okay? So, and there you go. Right, so this is, I'm going to, and also at the top, that's the top. And it says that um, it's got three, it, it does have the traffic light system here, so you see lots of green and an amber. So it's got um, amber, more like sort of yellow on the salt so it's average on salt it's good for fat good for saturates and good for sugars that's what why they have different colors to tell you how healthy the food is not whether you'll die i mean i'm sure they say first in the bin because it's out of date but you know um and also says it's plant-based so that means that um you know i believe it says vegans can eat it there's also a lot of things at the bottom but to be honest there's also some information at the bottom but that most that was in the free fridge and it's sort of ruined the label it's been in the fridge for too long but most it just tells you what it's got and what's in it and i can't easily read it to be honest because it you know it's got a bit soggy in the fridge so um anyway i'm just going to eat the thing it's basically right it's basically sweet potatoes rice and peas and a sort of curry um and a curry sauce so right guys i'm going to do that now okay And just put before I do, I'll actually take this wrapper off. So I'll take this wrapper off, and um, I've got a lid here. So I'm going to. There's a little thing here you, you break, sort of seal here that you break. Um, you break the seal off, so then you can lift it up. And this is what's inside before I cook it. I'm just doing that very carefully in case it like all starts falling out. So this is the piece of, before I cook it. That's the piece of sweet potato. This is the pea, and you can obviously see there's lots of rice there, and the rest of it is all curry. Um, so you're not meant to eat it before you cook it, but I'll just get rid of some of it, okay? So this, and then go on, so I put this, the lid on back on loosely, so I lift it, take the lid off and put it back on loosely, and then this is then going to go into the microwave um for no oh, wait a minute what does it say and um, yeah it says yes yeah, so it says take the lid off put it back loosely yep I've done that so it means the lid is like not pushed down it's just loose and yeah i'm sorry for this but i'm trying to do everything um i know this is boring for a 90 second meal but there you go And it tells you to leave it for a minute and then eat it. So I'm going to do that, guys, now, okay? Right.
Right, hello guys, and now I'm going to eat it, okay? Now, I'm just going to show you the label again because I didn't actually prove that, um, you know, I've got the, this is the thing, actually out the microwave now, and I'm still showing you the date against the 24th of May. Now, on the, I mean, that's the expiry date, um, it's currently the 15th of June, and to prove that, um, one of, uh, on BBC News article says, Kate returns to public events at Trooping the Colour. Okay, and I couldn't have known that she would return. This would be the first event she would actually return to, or that it would be possible to guess it. And I couldn't guess the exact title, which is Kate returns to public events at Trooping the Colour. Okay, that's because at the moment she's um, undergoing cancer therapy, and this is um, she's not been able to attend any public events for quite some time um, because of her illness. Okay, and so this is an event she has turned up for. Okay. Also, as I said, um, in recent um, events, it says as well, in recent events, as has been released in the last week or so, Nigel Farage said he was going to actually stand um, for, you know, to in the election. This was not known, I believe, at the time when this proof is about to expire so there you go guys okay um yep so again on the 2nd of june um, Nigel Farage, I know it's the 15th of June now, but um, on the 2nd of June, Nigel Farage said he was going to stand for election. That is something that couldn't possibly have known due to its uh, complete surprise um, based on him originally saying he wasn't going to do it. I could not have known that on the 24th of May. So, anyway, I'm going to eat it now. Enough of messing about. I'm going to actually eat it now, okay? Right now, here I have a plate. Now, as I said, I know people said about me kneeling. I have no choice. It is just horrible. Um, people, you know, so someone talked about me being able to eat um, with both hands, left and ha right, put a lot of fork. We normally put a fork, eat with a fork, either in the left hand or the right hand. So I'm going to demonstrate up for you guys that in Britain we can eat with a fork with the left hand or the right hand. Okay, that's how good we are over here, right? I know it's considered impossible in other countries, but we do it, right? Now, so. Here it goes, I've lifted the lid off, so now hopefully it's warming up inside. I'm now going to stir it. This is what it looks like inside, but I've got to be very careful because I don't want it to go every goddamn where, okay? There we go. And this head, I'm to stir it. And I'm going to try some with using the left hand. So I'll give hand, I mean. So my problem is exactly right hand. I think the sweet peas, the um, the taste doesn't taste quite as good as it might do, but I think that's probably because it's gone off slightly. But it's not going to die. Right, um, 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 everything always go wrong? One I'll worry about that later, I haven't got time now. Um, dear. You know, you couldn't script this if you tried. Right. Um, now, anyway, so this is me eating with the right hand. Now, okay, now, um, basically, um, I've 
Sorry about that, I accidentally pressed my finger on the key on the keyboard while trying to move it. So um, that was me eating with the right hand. Now I'm going to switch over to the left hand. People ask me why I don't do more eating videos. This is why because it's helped to film these things. Um, now I'm going to switch over to this is the right hand. I'm not so just to prove that I'm not cheating. I'm not using moving techniques or anything like that. Now I'm going to switch over to the left hand. And to be fair, usually we're not used to scooping using the left hand. We're used to just pushing things down and then. But that's not quite true actually. Up from um I know this is an astonishing feat as I know from some people we have that we can do this in Britain but because in America they switch to the right hand when they eat with a fork and they use some other countries I believe when they come to keep a knife and fork in the same hand So there you go, I know that's astonishing for some people, it was just something I assumed everybody did all over the world unless you know they ate with chopsticks or some other method. I assumed if anybody used a knife and they were just like us, and I'd create with both hands. Does it taste good? Yes, it tastes okay. Would I have another one? And um, possibly I can't find what I did with the um, wrapper now, so I can't. I've got it. So, um, yep. I mean, I can't remember what the original price was. I think it was quite a lot, to be honest. So, yeah, it would have been three pound seventy-five. I wouldn't pay three pounds seventy-five for it. I'm not. I'm not. Not, not me personally. Um, but it tastes okay. I will be honest. So, I didn't taste care about the cost. Yes, it tastes quite nice. It's it's obviously quite juicy. Um, even though it's a curry, I wouldn't say it's extremely hot. So it's not one of these where it'll burn your mouth off. You won't have a problem with it. Um, So there you go, um, it's still about halfway, and so I could have probably had that over a couple of meals, but you know, I'm going out in a minute, so I'll be probably quite hungry, so. I could have split this up over two days, but you know. I think it's meant to be a meal for one, so. I'm not sure Which way do I put the wrapper thing? Mm. I can't find the wrapper now, unfortunately. Oh, it's dropped down here. So I don't know if this is vegan or... I can't remember if it's vegan or if it's... Um, vegetarian. Um, And because this silly labels all over it, I can't read what it was anymore. So, yeah.
No, it's just too dark now in them. I think there's some information at one point, but... I can't easily read that on the side, it's too dark and... I have to put the light on now. So wait a minute. <coughs> wait for everything to go everywhere again. Which is well... You see, that's how bad it is. It's got darker and darker since I've done this, right? Um, it's got darker just in the time like, it's taken me to cook this, and I would have eaten it all by now normally. If I wasn't filming it. Yeah, it does say mild, so it says mild, which it is. So therefore, if there's somebody who's scared of curries, scared of getting hot, then this is a mild one. It says mild there, okay? So that means it's not going to burn your mouth off or anything like that. So, um, anyway. A minute. Right, so I'm going to finish it off, okay? Alright, I'm going to try and finish this off, okay? I only put a plate below. I don't need a plate, but I put a plate below just in case anything drops, you know? So now I'm out, now I've done most of the rice, so. Okay. That was good because um, the plate was going, so. Unless they're disabled, everyone in Britain can eat with both hands, with, you know, regarding the fork or a spoon. Unless they're disabled, you know, like they haven't got an arm or there's something wrong with the hands or arm or anything like that, I'm going to handle or whatever, you know. So yeah. Well, that's really it now. I think perhaps some of the sweet potatoes doesn't taste as nice as it could, but that's nothing to do with them. That's just because I left it in the fridge for so long. And, um, I have to check when the 24th would have been. Um, that'd be one, two, three. So basically, it's about. It's about three weeks out of date, okay? So there you go, guys. Um, chip shop curry in a pot, in a ready pot, which you just put in the microwave for about roughly four minutes, okay? And I got this because it was about to expire, as I said, and I got it on the day it was due to expire, okay? And I left it in the fridge for three weeks, and now I've eaten it, guys. So there you go. Because I just didn't get round to it. I was going to film this, but I just never got round to it until today. Okay? And now I'm going to go out to the supermarket. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!